I've been making video games for a long time, but I've always had trouble finishing them. Motivation has been hard to come by, especially with tasks like art and music. So gather around as I tell you the tale of the three days where I made this game and how it helped me solve one of my biggest problems as a game developer. I've tried to participate in game jams before, but I usually give up after the idea phase. Creative tasks like art, creating levels, or coming up with ideas has always been a bit difficult for me. I can be pretty creative quite often, but sometimes I hit these mental blocks and I just drop everything and give up. This usually happens when trying to build a world or trying out a new art style, and it usually follows with a few days of cripplingly low motivation and productivity. But this time would be different. I would join this game jam and come out with a fully complete game three days later. With this newfound optimism and the game jam just a few days away, I forgot all about it. Friday came, the first day of the jam, and two and a half hours after it started, I suddenly remembered. I seriously considered not doing the jam, but I decided to at least look at the theme. Survival. Alright, not my favorite theme. I feel like it narrowed it down to some sort of Endless Runner. With that and the extra rule the jam provided to have a high score system, an Endless Runner would be the perfect game, which is why everyone else would make one. I pondered this while doing some dishes and taking care of some things at home. I sat back down on my computer a few hours later and I wrote down some ideas. I came up with a 2D platformer, except the player can't move. The only way to get around would be from the recoil of a huge cannon that the player is holding. I thought of the high score rule and decided that it would be a speedrunning game. I had a hard time coming up with a way to implement the survival theme with the path I was on, but I settled for a big wall of impending doom chasing the player, which I felt was acceptable. The game jam went from Friday at 3pm to Monday at 3pm, but since I had school on Monday and I'd already wasted a few hours on Friday, that pretty much left me with 54 hours to make a game. Factoring in sleeping, eating, and a little bit of social interaction, that did not leave much time at all. With only a few hours left on Friday, I thought about getting some art done. I wasn't sure what to do, as I've been experimenting with different art styles recently. But without thinking, I opened up A-Sprite, so pixel art it was. With a normal project, I would have spent hours deciding on a good player, and a resolution to use, and I would have gone through iteration after iteration. This time, I had no time to worry about any of that. I just took the first thing on my mind and went with it. I pumped out a player, cannon, cannonball, and tile set. Now my art was no masterpiece, but for about 15 minutes of work, I was quite happy with what I managed to create. I made a tile map using the art, and I used some trigonometry to have the cannon point towards the mouse. What I wanted was not to use recoil to move the player, but instead to use knockback from the cannon itself. Basically, to move around, you'd have to bounce a projectile off of a wall and then have it collide with the player. I thought it would be fun, but it was impossible to use, and it was causing far too many problems for me to sort out. So in the spirit of a game jam, I went with the easier option and used recoil. There was also an issue where the player could fly if they spammed the fire button. So rather than adding a cooldown, I made it so the cannon needs to charge up. And just like that, the first day was over. I had a very bare bones start, and for already being one day in, it was not looking good. I woke up on day two, slightly discouraged. I had so many things left to do, it wasn't even worth it to make a list. And I was thinking about all the other things I could have spent my weekend doing. I got to work and started pushing out some content. I created another tile set for some slime that the player could stick to. I felt like I could make some puzzle type levels with it. I added in some placeholder menus and a game over and windscreen. I also added in a wall of impending doom which looked very menacing. I downloaded a path creator tool from Sebastian Lag, one of my favorite Unity gurus, and I got the wall following a path. One problem I was running into was that I could usually get way ahead of the wall, but if I increased the wall's speed, it would be way too fast for some difficult parts of the level. The solution I came up with was just to increase the speed of the wall when it got to a certain distance away from the player. I added a placeholder portal to the finish line and completed the gameplay loop with a timer, high score, and scene changes working. I woke up on day 3 and ended up being busy for the first few hours of the day. It was Sunday, and unable to skip school the next day, it was my last chance at completing my game. I sat down at my computer, ignorant to the fact that I wouldn't be getting up for the next 8 hours. The plan was simple. Make some art to replace the placeholders, add post-processing, add a background, make an enemy, make the boring black wall exciting and scary, add animations, sound effects, music, improve the menus, fix any bugs, make 5 more levels. Add some environment objects, create an itch.io page, cover art, take screenshots, write a description, and hopefully nothing goes wrong with the build. 
The first thing I did was add a vignette effect that increased in strength the closer the Wall of Doom got to the player. Then I made an enemy to follow the player. I had trouble deciding what the enemy should do, but eventually decided that on contact, the player would temporarily be blinded. I then made a quick explosion effect for the cannon. After that, I worked on the level select screen and main menu because they were very lacking. I am not happy at all with what I decided on, but at least it was better than it was. I added a subtle gradient to the background and it was a big improvement. I made a sprite for the enemy and spent some time improving the win and game over screens. I added a slider to the game over panel to show how far you got, obviously inspired by Cuphead. I made a portal sprite and added some fancy particle effects. I added some more post processing and I felt like the game was looking much better. The thought of my regular 9.30 bedtime got smothered by the clock ticking louder and faster every second and a feeling settled in for the first time during this challenge. Fear. I was afraid. Anxious. I have this obsession about getting enough sleep, and the thought of waking up at 5.30 for school the next day, when the clock was starting to blaze by 10.30, it scared me. But I buckled in, and I kept working. I went online, and I made some sound effects, and quickly downloaded some free music. I looked at the project, and decided that I could go to bed at 11 and call it a day. But I looked at the stale black wall chasing the player, and I decided that it needed an upgrade. I hopped into A-Sprite and added some texture to the wall. I popped it into Unity, and I gave it some animations to give it some life. At that point, it was 11.30. I was exhausted. I hadn't stood up or stretched my legs in seven hours. I was shaking. My heart was beating out of my chest. I felt like the wall of impending doom I made was right behind me. I was so done with this game, I just wanted to go to bed, but my heart fell as I remembered that I needed an itch.io page. I gritted my teeth and fell into a frenzy of manic work. I didn't ask why I was doing what I was doing. I barely even made any decisions or had any thoughts. When I snapped out of it, I was sitting in front of a completed itch page with some cover art that I didn't have the energy to criticize. My game was uploading and there was nothing to do but wait. As I watched that blue bar slowly creep towards the end. I decided I might as well play the completed game. I don't know why I did. If something was missing, broken, or even if the game didn't work at all, I would have left it the way it was. It was over. With my heart numb and my brain as smooth as a cue ball, I opened my game. And to my surprise, everything was perfect. I played the first level, the second, the third. And as I finished the last level, a tear nearly escaped my eye. It was beautiful. It wasn't perfect, it had its flaws. The levels were a little boring, the UI was terrible, and as I would later find out, it was way too difficult. But it was mine, and I made it in less than three days. With a smile on my face, I hit the submit button, and I went to bed. A few days later, I checked the Game Jam page, and the results were in. I didn't win, I definitely didn't expect to, but I certainly didn't do badly. 18th out of 139 entries. I was really surprised to see how high I placed, considering how well made some of the games were. All of the people that played my game seemed to like it, although I had a lot of comments saying it was too hard. I really wish I was able to add more than 4 levels, but I'm happy with what I did nonetheless. My problem from the start of the challenge, having trouble with the creative tasks, I realized it was all in my head. When I usually try to make art, I spend hours trying to get it perfect, and I have so little to show for it that I get discouraged and I give up. This is a very dangerous phenomenon that I would like to call perfectionism. The thing about creativity is that it comes solely from the unconscious mind. This means that the more you try to control it or force it, the less it will work. The problem is that people who are more logical, structured thinkers like me usually have a much harder time doing that, and they end up with this plague. The solution is to let your mind roam free without judgment and criticism, and just focus on putting words on a page or paint on a canvas. Then when you're done, you can edit and reiterate. During this game jam, I didn't have the time to worry about the quality or take control of my creativity. I just had to put out content as quickly as possible, and it resulted in something that I'm certainly not ashamed of.